Violent weather, powerful winds and rain slammed parts of Maryland, even spawning a tornado in at least one area. A look at the damage and the cleanup underway tonight. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Rick Ritter. The National Weather Service confirms it was a tornado that touched down in a part of Howard County tonight. Officials say the EF1 twister ripped the roof off an office building in Columbia along the 9700 block of Brookenland Parkway. An EF1 tornado generally has wind speeds between 86 and 110 miles per hour. No injuries have been reported right now. A severe thunderstorm watch is in effect for Carroll and Frederick counties. And WJZ has team coverage of the impact of tonight's storm. Let's begin with Kelsey Kushner live in hard hit Columbia with a look at severe damage in one neighborhood there. Kelsey. Well, Rick, where that tornado had touched down is about five minutes away from the neighborhood that we're in right now. Now, I'm in way over way. That's the road run. Take a look at some of the damage here. You can see a tree completely split a house in half. Now, some of the neighbors we spoke with today say this storm was unlike anything they've seen before. It was really bad. I mean, it was so windy and it was raining so hard. We could see the, the tree in the front of our house just swaying back and forth. But it was by far the worst. It sounded like a freight train coming. Through. It was the sound of wind howling and trees crashing down. Neighbors say they heard right outside their window after a storm ripped through Columbia Thursday afternoon. On way over way, it was all hands on deck. As neighbors work together to clean up the mess left behind. So, my son's room is the one that the tree is up against, and then the one that's directly behind it on the other side of the chimney is the nursery for this little guy. This is like a war zone. Dina Seaford says she was inside her house with her husband when she saw this tree fall on top of her neighbor's house, Chopper 13, over the damage. The homeowner tells WJZ his mom was reading a book in her bedroom when the tree broke through the roof and trapped her inside. He says she is expected to be okay. In the nearby Grateful Heart Gate neighborhood, winds sent people running to take cover. The actual force of the wind actually split the tree. Debris scattered along streets and front yards, but even destruction can bring hope. It's devastating. These poor people. I just feel really bad for them, but we're here to help and do what we can as a neighborhood. And Howard County Fire says the woman who was trapped inside this house, she was transported to the hospital with minor injuries, and she is expected to be okay. Reporting live in Howard County, Kelsey Krishner for WJC.